Though the almost fancy-looking puffed-out globe that frames the face of the Bichon Fries might make it look like a cute little stuffed animal, make no mistake, the Bichon Fries is a resilient, sturdy breed that is as comical as it is friendly. Here are the Bichon Fries pros and cons. The pros 1. Size an average-sized Bichon Frise stands about 12 inches tall and can weigh up to 18 pounds. The lifespan of this breed is around 15 years, so its size enables the breed to be moved easily, accepted without any issues in apartments that allow dogs and will be better able to move along with any changes in housing over such a span of time. This is a luxury that owners of larger dogs don't have if they're faced with having to move to certain places. 2. Shedding The coat of this breed is hypoallergenic and doesn't shed much at all. They are classified as a long-coated breed who dawns a double coat of curly hair. When it comes to keeping your home clean or maintaining allergens at low levels, their coat checks the box on both counts. Anyone who's owned a breed that sheds a lot can testify about how much easier it would be not to have to have a lint roller on the ready in every room. The low shedding levels of the Bichon are absolutely a pro. 3. Easily achievable exercise needs The AKC has classified the Bichon Frise as a somewhat active breed. They get a lot of their exercise through short bursts of energy when doing things like running from one room to another, down a hallway or other mundane types of activities. In other words, they'd explode with an energetic burst, but like all bursts, it quickly fizzles out, then all is calm again. This will happen throughout the day. That being said, they do well with a moderate walk, some outdoor playtime and some games to expel any pent-up energy and to keep fit. 4. They're often good with other pets one of the best pros about the Bichon Frise is their friendliness, particularly when it comes to children and other pets. Many owners will tell you that the best way to give your Bichon Frise some good exercise is to get another dog. They love to run around with other dogs in a friendly, playful manner, especially out in the yard where they can open up the throttle. The Cons 1. Grooming of all the cons that are ahead of us in this video, this is the only one that can't be trained out of the dog, and that's the level of grooming required to keep the Bichon Frise looking sharp and clean. Owners tend to have to give the dog a thorough brushing two to three times per week, with some deciding to brush them daily. Clipping and bathing should continue at least once a month or more, depending on its living environment. 2. Separation Anxiety Separation anxiety is something that a lot of dogs suffer and can be a big problem depending on what your living situation is or what your work schedule might be. Along with this anxiety can come some fear-based aggression, excessive whining, barking and some displays of destructive behaviour. A good deal of Bichons will stabilise when fully grown and can eventually be left by themselves for a work day but getting to that point can be heartbreaking, noisy and trying for both dog and owner. 3. The expense of the breed This would be a con for some, maybe not so much for others, but here it is. The cost of a Bichon Frise can be found anywhere between $700 to $2,000. The Bichon makes for an outstanding companion dog, but at its core, it's a designer breed. Almost every time, designer dogs are much more expensive than their working dog or companion dog counterparts. One mustn't forget that additional monthly expenses will accrue depending on how you choose to groom your dog, as groomer costs continue month after month for a potential 15 years if owners don't take care of it themselves. 4. Bichon Frise can be shy when not socialised properly Often, the Bichon Frise is an easy-going, friendly breed that holds no ill will towards anyone or anything. However, it is common for these dogs to become rather shy as pups. If this isn't worked out of their system through steady socialization with people and perhaps other animals, they will continue to have this problem through adulthood. When this continues through their adulthood, the shyness can create anxiety and all of the behavioral pitfalls of having that as a condition. Skittishness can also develop when a Bichon is left to its own devices to tackle shyness throughout its early stages. 
5. Difficult to housebreak Of all the cons, this might be the worst in the eyes of many would-be Bichon Frise owners. This breed can be extremely challenging to housebreak. In most other areas of training, they'll conform and learn relatively easily. When it comes to potty training, they, for whatever reason, tend to take matters into their own hands for a lot longer into their adolescence than anyone would like them to. Because of this tendency, crate training is advised to help the dog understand when it can go and when, more particularly where, it can go. Do you have any pros or cons about the Bichon Frise that you'd like to share with fellow viewers? Feel free to tell us about it below in the comments section. And as always, I'd like to remind you, if you haven't already, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to receive my latest videos about your favourite breeds. Thanks for watching.